Yo, 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 welcome to the Lab TV. I'm your host, Tokyo. Today I'm on camera with a very special guest. Somebody who's been on the Lab TV already. Somebody who's been in the game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, Lil Randy. Yo, 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 man, what do you think, Tokyo? Nothing, man, everything, everything been going all right, man. I, uh, trying something different, man. Trying to be on camera, trying to be seen, I guess. You know, put a face to the voice. Yeah. I'd have been on camera with no excuses podcast, but not True. far as interviewing, True. you know, people like this. So Yeah, yeah. I, what's up with you, man? How you doing? Man, I've been working smart, not hard, man. Yeah. Just all over the place. Yeah. Um, getting shit down. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. What was your day like? Basically, man, it was really like my my day was like today. Basically just handling a lot of stuff over the phone and stuff and you know, on the MacBook and shit. Okay. So really chill day. Okay. Took advantage to get a lot of other stuff did. So. Oh, okay. This kind of new to me because I gotta look you this close to you. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, but from the battle or some shit. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, but you know what? I, we gotta try new things, man. So you say you work on the MacBook. So yeah. You you prefer a MacBook over HP? Uh, I really prefer both. I, I like both because okay. uh, you you can get different things out of both of them. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I feel it. I feel like I, I had been working with a, a HP so long, man. And, like, it's slower. Like, it's easier to catch a virus. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you got to buy products to protect yourself yes, versus right. with the Apple products. They already got their stuff set up. Like, uh-uh. You -uh. know, virus is going on over here. Yeah, Apple going to make you spend that money now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. I need to get an Apple phone. Yeah. I've been rocking these... Uh, Everybody call this the computer. You know what I'm oh saying? man, they trip. <laughs> phone to phone, like I got four phones. I got four phones, bro. Yeah, uh, one of my Apple. I ain't, I ain't really crazy about Apple phones though. I love their uh, computers and uh, yeah. tab. I love it, but they phones is so it's limited. So yeah. I, I ain't just a phone to phone. Straight up, straight up. <laughs> hey, so like, what you been working on lately, man? Ooh. Uh, I really don't really don't want to spill too many beans, but I, I gonna spill to put a little bit on the table. Um, I'm working on a whole another tape, even though I'm in the process of putting out the tape that we're finna put out. Yeah, I'm already on some other shit, working on this other one, getting it wrapped up. Yeah, and um, I'm working on um, playing a role in a movie, dog. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lil Ray finna get his acting on. Finna get it on, man. Other than that, um, I got my foot in uh into some fashion stuff and investments and stuff. Okay. So I just been maneuvering all over the place. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You uh speaking of fashion, like you ever thought about starting your own clothing line or something like that? Or t shirts, uh, hats or something like that? I don't get me wrong, it did cross my mind before, you know. It have, but it's like um it's a lot of people in the city that already do it, yeah. which is not a problem. That's great. I love it. It's yeah. fantastic. Um, I just wanted, if I did do something like that, I wanted to be on a whole other pedestal or scale or something. Yeah. But enough people are already doing it, and it's yeah. dope. They putting out some dope ass shit. Yeah. Like anybody that's in the veil, y'all, uh, you know, doing clothes, anything like that, I'm welcome to put on y'all shit and promote and do bid. Yeah. You know, I'm just throwing it out there on the text. Facts and lab too, cause I I be needing stuff to put on camera. You know what I'm saying? Hook your boy up. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, hey man, like people ain't. It's a lot of stuff people ain't doing with clothes. I could tell you about like yeah. a lot of people ain't doing hats. A lot of people ain't doing it, and it's gonna get ready to be summertime. You can have your own design mm -hmm. with your own hat. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be something to think about. Uh, yeah. I don't know about the shoes. You know what I'm saying? It'll be a whole nother avenue. Like, you might as well. You're touching everything, yo. Bro, I just thought about some custom boxer briefs. Like, cool boxer briefs, bro. You got to be something. like. Because I know a guy. <laughs> I know a guy online. He do robes. Like, call them daddy robes or something like yeah. that. But they look almost like Versace robes. But they nice. And he a black he a black owned. He a, he's a black man who has a black owned business. Yeah. And celebrities start start wearing their robes, man. So. Oh yeah, you, you gotta have your robe, a dope ass robe. That's that's that boss shit status, you know. Yeah. Walk around the house, you know, like Scarface in this bit yeah. or something. Yeah, I think that's for like single people though. I, I can't see 
me wearing a boss ass robe with all the kids I got running around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe in the early in the morning I got me a cup of coffee or something like that. <laughs> they got squeeze it in. <laughs> <laughs> or when it's sixty time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotta yeah. Make it happen, man. Yeah. But uh man, we were talking about uh, having a good heart before we started the podcast, man. Yeah, we were. We were. What you were saying? Like uh, you know, basically, man, you know, um, you got a lot of people out here that got like a big heart mm -hmm. and love to help people and shit. Yeah. Don't mind, but you also got a lot of people out here they love to take advantage of that as well. It's like it's like a shark in the water type shit, and you know, just be getting fucked over and crossed over so much. It uh, it molds you to be to yourself, yeah, and not want to fuck with people. And people will look at you like, oh, he stuck up. He think he too much, arrogant ass nigga. No, it ain't that. It's yeah. just a person that been fucked over so much and crossed so much, he really don't even want no dealing with people. Yeah. But at the same time, living in the world as a human being, being realistic, still have to deal with people. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. That's hard to balance too, man. Cause but, like, what you about to say? I just want to this in there. If you ever cross me and fucked over me, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I think... Everybody who has a good heart then got crossed up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a part of it's a part of being a good person. Those are, I believe those are obstacles in life to turn you bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Bad people are the ones that hurt good people. Not good people are hurting bad people. I mean, yeah, not, yeah you, you get what I'm saying. So, but, but I'm thankful for everything I ever went through because that would have made me like even my past. I ain't have about all my past, but everything I went through and dealt with, it shit made me. To get here to who I am today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like like I had told uh, 2K in one of our interviews, I said, sometimes people can be the callous. That sometimes people be the callous in your life that'll provoke you to change. Yep. So there'll be that obstacle, like I said, to push you into your destiny. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yep. So we got to appreciate the haters and the backstabbers too. Got to. You know what I'm saying? Got to. They play a big part. Yeah, but... I, one thing I try to do is I try to forgive people, you know what I'm saying, that hurt me because it only affects my day when I hold on to it because yeah, I find myself that's true. talking about it or saying, well, why you bring that bitch in that nigga name? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you forgive them or you just X them out, block them, and just go on about your day. There'll be a, there'll be a distant mm -hmm. thought in your mind, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't forgive, get, forgive and shit. You know, sometimes you forget, cause you know, shit be small shit. Like, what's what's a small fry to a Big Mac? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. 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 But uh, man, have you uh seen uh what happened to Six Nine in the in the news in the media? Yeah, I saw it late last night. Okay. Okay. And what was your thoughts on that, man? He finally got caught slipping. <laughs> <laughs> got caught slipping in the turn line. So, 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 do you agree with what happened with him? Like shit, I don't, I don't wish bad on nobody, but you know when you were doing what he was doing and moving, how he moving and talking shit, how he talking and trolling and chasing clout, you, you asked for shit like that. Okay. You know, it was just a, a, a time that was coming and it came. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he probably wasn't expecting it to be the gym, but it was the gym. And then it was by some 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 guy that don't even look like they would, I don't know, man. It was a bald, <laughs> bald headed older guy that was kicking and stomping on him. Oh man. And uh I don't know, I just feel like people rejoicing over six nine getting jumped is crazy to me. I don't know if they were excited because he was doing all the trolling yeah. or they excited because he was a snitch. You know what I'm saying? Because if they was excited by him getting jumped because he was a snitch, then I have a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> he didn't snitch on nobody famous that was a part of our hip hop culture. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Shotty Young. We didn't know Shotty Young until 6 ix 9 introduced us to them. True. Shotty them was a part of a murderous gang in New York that were terrorizing the neighborhood. We don't live in New York. Right. We ain't had no dog in that fight. Then they kidnapped dude. They was extorting dude. They fucked dude, baby mama. 
Then they said they was gonna kill him when he got to jail. What loyalty did that man owe that gang? You know what I'm saying? Then had sound. They really snitched on themselves in so many words. Like, like basically everything you just said. You know, it was public. Yeah, it was public. Snitched on yourself. It was public. It was mm-hmm. it was public information. Six nine just confirmed everything that you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. He got he got those guys on the street, and I just like. Like people who got nine to fives, bro. Like they was talking about six nine or red. But y'all not doing the crimes. Y'all not even in the streets. Y'all don't even want y'all kids doing nothing that six nine or the gang member was doing. But you got so much to say about street politics. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't understand that like hypocrisy to me. You know what I'm saying? And they quick to call the police on people who make too much noise outside their apartment complex. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> like. It's all fucked up. Yeah, it's fucked up, man. <laughs> then do the Mexican in a black gang. What loyalty does he owe anybody? You know, you got people, you know, they gonna look at it and talk shit and take it how they want to take it all it. You know, they gotta really know what's going on and, you know, what you see. Yeah. They be like, uh, hey, if he part of the gang, he got to stick to the street code. Niggas in the street don't even stick to the street code. Niggas ain't sticking to no code no more. And it's sad. Like, if nigga was going by street code now, day, it'll be 10 times better out here. Niggas just everywhere right now. Oh, geez, everybody stirring them the wrong way, leading the wrong way, because they, so <coughs> they so focused on themselves. They just using them and crash, don't they? Yeah, they crash, do Yeah. yeah. Ain't no morals out here. Ain't no code of ethics or nothing. None of that no more. They, they used to tell, they used to tell the little basketball stars, man, don't don't be out here playing. You got to right. change. They used to tell the little smart dude, go home. Mm-hmm. But now, everybody got the Drakes. Oh yeah, everybody want to be out here, a little Draco, a little Blicky, all that. Want to be like, steppers, you know what I'm saying? That's that's crazy. You better step on some money. Psst. They ain't doing that. They just around here stinky and murderous. Picture bigger than that, dog. Yeah. Like, I've been there, done that. It ain't, ain't going to get you nowhere. Better change. Better change it up. Change it up. is on two ways out there, shit, huh? Facts. And everybody ain't going to get out. Everybody ain't going to get out and be the uh, retired drug dealer. You know what I'm exactly, saying? Exactly. Exactly. I had to change my life around. That's why I tell a lot of folks, man, please do not let my looks fool you. Please don't don't let my look fool you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did a lot of shit, man. Yeah. Spend up. Yeah. But uh back to uh like celebrity news, man. Like, what was your stance with uh Tory Lanes and Megan the Stallion? Uh, this the whole situation. Uh to be honest, I really I really feel like that situation that could have been handled a little bit better. Much better. Yeah. Uh especially on her end. Hell yeah. yeah you, you really put this man through a bunch of bullshit that he didn't really have to go through. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Like, if, if, if Tory Lane did shoot you, why not just get your bodyguard to go beat Buddy mm-hmm. up or something like that? You know what I'm saying? Something get a couple shows canceled for him. You, what he supposed to be got? 25 years in jail or something like that? Yeah, something like that. That's a lot of years, man. It is. For, for what you say? I don't, I'm not trying to change top, but I don't like what they just did to R. Kelly. But go ahead. You know, I had something to say about R. Kelly too. <laughs> <coughs> and I don't, I don't, uh, from what they saying that the charges that that we heard about, those are not the charges that got him in jail. They trying to get mm-hmm. him for racketeering or something like that. Wow. Uh, and so uh, basically what it boiled down is. They wanted to get his masters, you know what I'm saying? They wanted to get his catalog. I figured that because his catalog is like a billion dollar plus catalog. Yep. And he wrote for Michael Jackson too. He up there. Yep. Billion plus dollar catalog. Like, yep, yep. They want that. Yep. This music industry, wicked, man. Man, they didn't kill Michael, Michael Jackson. They didn't kill Prince. Whitney Houston. And her daughter because she was next in line for, the, for her catalog. Yep. So... It's wicked, man. Yeah, wicked, man. And then look at Tory Lanez. Folks, you got to open their mind up. Like, open different gateways in your mind up. Because nobody in the world uses 100% of their brain. Yeah. But people probably don't believe this shit. But you, you can open different portals and gateways up in your brain. Mm-hmm. You just got to know how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you believe we help you open up some, some of your uh, portals in your mind? Yeah. I believe that, too. Because I find myself being... 
more creative when I use it as a mm-hmm. recreational drug. I don't I don't believe in smoking weed every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you gotta spend time with yourself sober. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Who am I sober? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Yep. I find out I find people that smoke weed every day, bro, they they be paranoid a lot. I ain't no telling. Everybody got their own reason. Yeah, they, they be they be paranoid a lot. Like they think they just think I don't know. A lot of my friends and a lot of my family members smoke weed every day, so I be seeing it. It's it, it different ways to use it. It all depends on how that person use it. Yeah. And, you know, how a person also care themselves when they doing it. Because we got a lot of people, they let weed and other shit, drug, they let that shit make them. Yeah. Now you got to make it. Yeah. Just like clothes. Clothes yeah. don't make you. You, yeah. you got to make the clothes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, my partner, I ain't going to say, I'm calling that. My partner, J-Mac, he, he, he chief every day. And he pretty cool, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They most definitely do that though. Open different gateways. That why I that one of my reasons that's why I think they always been so hard on weed mm-hmm. versus other uh drugs. Yeah. And other drugs be ten times more toxic and more dangerous. But they don't focus on it. They focus on that. Cause they know what that can do. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you if you under eighteen, I ain't trying to get you to smoke no weed. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Right now I feel like I feel like weed is Weed is okay if you don't abuse it. But now, even now that it's uh, legalized, they have been tampering with the weed now. Like, they've been lacing it with it now. You, you know gotta watch out. Like, they, then, then these guys out here be buying these cheap ass weed and mm-hmm. then dipping it in CBD or whatever. I had one guy, he, uh, he sold cocaine. He sold cocaine and he sold weed. And he put the weed like in one of the crack bags in the crack. I mean, not the crack, the uh, the cocaine bag, and it had the uh, cocaine residue. See that? You can't do that yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, little reckless ass nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you can't buy from anybody. You can't. You gotta gotta go to the right source. And it be hard because sometimes the right source be out. And yeah. you need it. <laughs> that's why, that why it's very important. You know, be plugged in like heavily. I'm not that type of uh uh-uh. uh I don't I don't deal with everybody on anything. Yeah. I'm very, very picky. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. But yeah, man, I I feel like she 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 ran out with Tory Lanez, man. Like that was that was wrong, man. Y'all let it go through the media, but then again, he could have just shut up after the situation happened, because I remember him getting online. But I think he was trying to defend his name. You know I what I'm saying? I believe that when you're trying as to do as quickly as possible. And mm-hmm. she was like, Well, if he, if he, I wasn't going to say nothing, but since he got online, bitch, you got the police involved. Exactly. Like, you put a black man in jail for years for getting bullet fragments. Not a bullet, fragments. And then we don't even know if he did it, because now in the case, it was pointing towards that her friend was the one that, you know, shot the gun off. Yeah. Tory Lanez didn't have no residue on his hands, no, 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 no gun residue on his hands. So like, yeah. who shot you? <laughs> Man, it's crazy. I, you know, I, I, I believe it's deeper than what it is. Yeah, they always be like that. You know, I, I want to say, I don't want to say, I do want to say, I don't know. Man, it's, it's, it's about that man's catalog. <laughs> but it's about his catalog. You know, I think he broke an oath, and you know, that was his way of having to, you know, pay. Mm. Cause they 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 make you pay a certain different way depending on how you is. They love to use whatever you love against you. Mm. You know. Yeah. He but he he made plenty of subliminal messages saying the Illuminati wanted to get him because he on his masters. You know what I'm saying? That can be a reason too. They be out there the masters heavy. Yeah. They want it because that's a lifetime pay plus after lifetime after you die, seventy year plus after you still receive. See, see, people don't believe that type of stuff goes on. That people will kill, kill you, or, or music labels will kill you for yeah. niggas. If if niggas in the street gonna keep gonna shoot and rob the drug dealer because he got twenty racks in the house, why you think these music labels ain't gonna kill you for exactly. a billion dollar catalog? Exactly. Not saying Tory Lanez catalog worth a billion dollar, but I'm just you know I'm just mm-hmm. saying. You're right. You know what I'm saying. You're right. Like, I'd had people come around me with dumb shit before, man, talking about, 
don't sacrifice me, little Randy. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, hey, you'll get the way I get on with that fuck <laughs> shit, man. You'll get on. Like, if I'm a kid, I'm a kid. Yeah. Like, but. They be saying that. To, yeah, they be like, saying that to all the music. Don't like sacrifice me. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, speaking of other uh, conspiracy theories, man, like, do you believe in aliens, bro? Most definitely. I'll tell you why. Like, um, I'm, I'm going to try to break it down in the best format that I can. Mm -hmm. All right. We are <coughs> outside the earth. You got a, a galaxy. Uh, outside the galaxy, you got a universe. Mm -hmm. And within the galaxy and the universe, there's like billions plus mm -hmm. uh, different, you know, stars and just everything. Mm -hmm. Planets, all that. So you're telling me within out of a billion some planets out of all of that, we the only species on a billion some planets within all of that, the mm -hmm. galaxy and the universe? Yeah. No, it can't be. It's, it's just impossible. Yeah, because what makes us so special that out of this whole galaxy, we the only ones on this tiny little planet, and then we're not even the biggest planet, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm going to definitely believe there are other oh, yeah. beings they yeah, they they show themselves all the time. You just gotta pay attention. You yeah. gotta pay attention, man. I wonder why like they hide stuff like that from us, and then now in the news they want to start saying that aliens are real. And now that they saying aliens are real, it's like it's a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like why would they hide stuff like that from us? I can't say one thing. You know they doing it for a reason. Um, why I'm saying well, the reason I say they're doing it for a reason why they uh, starting to actually say something about it now mm -hmm. they're doing it for a reason but other than that uh, they've been hiding it from people because like they know that shit had just went public back a long time ago you know it was gonna be chaos people people weren't gonna be able to handle that shit yeah and they won't be able to handle that so they've been hiding that shit from us for the longest mm -hmm. yeah, if you know you know though yeah, you know, if you tied in with certain people and you got connects and stuff, trust me, there's ways to get actual proof. <coughs> you know. Well, you need to plug me in. I plug in. Plug me in, cause I, I really like I like diving into that world, man. I like I like diving into it's deep understanding all of that. It's very deep. There's a lot of people out here lost, dog. Yeah, and it hurts. Yeah. Now I want to say this, like. Do you do you believe that the extraterrestrials, the aliens, do they look like us humans, or they have other other features? You know what I'm saying. You got um, you got a uh, certain um, it's different breeds of them. Mm -hmm. It just ain't grays. Like you got that. Then the one we know uh -huh. that we basically see all the time. But you got different uh, like different. You know, makes of them. Yeah. And one make of them is kind of like a human version. They look similar to us. They they taller, though. Mm -hmm. Way taller. But, yeah. Answer, to answer your question, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I get... I want to know, like... <coughs> where does... I ain't trying to go... Uh, religion mode, but, like... Yeah. Where do... Where do they fit in with religion? You know what I'm saying? Like, because, like... All our history books don't mention aliens, but they mention like demons and angels, giants, uh, yeah. uh, crossbreeding people like the Nephilim. You like, know what I'm saying? What I mean by when I said they would, you know, they were here all the time, like in the books back then and all that. And you see like Egypt and all that. No. Uh -huh. You see the writings on the walls and yeah. stuff. Look closer to some of them writings. And it's like little UFOs and little. Alien people and all that shit. Mm -hmm. They've been here trying to tell us. Yeah. And I would say, well, I ain't fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. They ain't in the sky. Yeah. You know, a lot of people think they're in the sky. They ain't in, we can't, it's a dome. We can't get out of Earth. I'm a flat Earth believer. Okay. But it's a dome. Can't get out of it. Um, why you think they stopped fucking with the uh, ocean? They ain't deal with that no more. Why? It, 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 it's, it follows back to what we're talking about now. You know, they they down there. Then you got them on the underground bases and shit, you know. Like, they already know about all this, bro. They, you know, you you know, your average person ain't going to know that shit, mm -hmm. though. But they, they already got them in underground bases. Uh, they in the ocean. 
they have an extraterrestrial working in the uh, Pentagon for over the last decade or so with our actual Hermes. Mm. A lot of folks don't know that. I forgot his name. The alien got a name and everything. I'm going to ask you this. So do, do you feel like they <coughs> will hide stuff like this uh, in order to like, I, I believe they will hide stuff. I'm going to say my beliefs. I believe they will hide certain things because everything has profit or power behind it. Meaning, like, just 20 years ago or 30 years ago, we was having landline phones. Now we have wireless phones that's connected to nothing. You can video chat. Mm -hmm. You can go on the internet. You can do whatever you want to do. Right. At the palm of your hand with all these invisible signals. You know what I'm saying? Then they got electric cars. Then they got water cars, which I want to talk about that. Uh, they yeah. killed the inventor. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? That. Like, they got all this stuff, but they slowly releasing it and making a profit off of it. Oh, yeah. It's a, for one, everything they do is going to be a slow release. Everything that they release to us, they already be sitting on that shit for like 10, 15 years before they even give it to us. Yeah. A lot of folks don't know that. That shit be older than them. Here we are paying a thousand, twelve hundred dollars for an iPhone. Exactly. And it probably cost them twenty dollars to make. They've been sitting on it 10, 15 years. Just they decided, all right, we're gonna throw that shit out to them. Let's get it to them. Folk been sitting on it. They always stay 15, 10 years ahead of everybody else. So yeah, yeah. man, like everything is greed related. Gre very greedy, man. And this world is so wicked. Like they'll even sell women and children it is sex 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 rings oh yeah you know all these freaky islands and stuff you know it what i'm deep. saying it deep. rich like, people you can get rich just off of personal organs yeah they want organ trapping at all the time huh? yeah and kidnapping and people coming up missing especially black people because our organ is the strongest our skin somehow uh protect us from the sun from what the sun can do to our organ versus what it do to other races' organs. So yeah. That's why a lot of, you know, black African Americans come up miss. Yeah. And I wonder, like, they keep us so segregated, even within our own race. You know what I'm saying? That's why, like, I support hip hop, but at the same time, it's like, nigga, like, we could do so much united. Oh, yeah. yeah. If we stop talking about killing each other, you know what I'm saying? And spread knowledge like how like you talking about money, man. Mm -hmm. Spread knowledge. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Spread gun awareness. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get their guns yeah. and not use it on each other because you from this side of town, from this side of town. Right. I don't like how you looking at me, bitch ass nigga. You hate like small minded shit. Small minded, yeah. like think bigger. But you know, like they have really done a number on us. But Oh yeah. We we have enough knowledge now to the point where it's no more excuses. I know it's no more excuses. All that shit out the window. If we if we all came together, we'll be unstoppable. It'll go back to how we used to be back then. Started off with kings and queens. You know, yeah. fast forward now, we stuck together, man. <coughs> totally unstoppable. Man, totally unstoppable. I was uh thinking about um Martin Luther King. You talking about uh, how it was back in the day, and I was thinking uh, like Black Wall Street, how we had our own. Mm -hmm. Then here comes Martin Luther King talking about I have a dream, where <laughs> <laughs> you know something, yeah, you know something, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man know something, okay. You know something like 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 yeah. you came and. We had our own table, but yet you convinced the black race to go look at this white man table. Now we was at one point we was at the white man table. You know, we was at the white man table. We was in them cotton fields. Hmm. So why would we go back and beg to? You know what I'm saying? Like we was building our own. You know what I'm saying? Then they come, we build our own organizations like the Black Panther Party. Uh, the Vice Lords, the uh, Gangster Disciples, you know what I'm saying? All of the, right. all those things start off as positive movements. Yep. 
a lot of folks they 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 hate to say it, but it's the truth. You know, Martin Luther King he had sold out. Yeah, he you know, sold out. He he was he was part of the brotherhood. You know, if you know what I mean when I say brotherhood, you know what I'm talking about. You know, he was part of the brotherhood. You know, one no way around it. He he sold the people out. You know, and then they want to look at him as a preacher. You know what I'm saying? Dude was that mind was. Cheating on Coretta Scott <laughs> like she <laughs> like she was a girlfriend. Do you hear me? It's crazy, man. Do you hear me, man? Mine was cheating on Coretta Scott like crazy. The FBI released it. Yeah. I'll give him wrong. I don't, I don't knock him for you know anything he did good. All yeah. I totally what did he do good? Respected. What did he do good? I don't think we can say he did good is really what they go off of what what they demoted into us all these damn years. And why is he the only one that, that get a date? Okay, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, all of them should have a date. Why he the only one that get the why they why we got a man with me today? True. Why we got why we got a I have a dream. <laughs> a lot of them should have days, you're right. That is you right. But anyway, I don't wanna get too deep about yeah. it. <coughs> He <laughs> hate his own kind. No, I love black people. Fuck you, Tom. Oh, yeah, I love black people. I love all races. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. You know, it, it, it be kind of hard to, like, to love. Well, I ain't going to say not hard, but for the majority of them, like, I know a lot of cool white people. Yeah, more definitely. I know a lot of cool white people, but as far as, like, me working under <clears throat> a white man, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. Not down here in the south. I I say it just had to be. It it depends on how that how that white man is. It depends on how he is. You know mm -hmm. how how that mind frame set up and stuff. You know, yeah, you got, you got some good white people out here. Yeah, you do. You got yeah. good all races out here, and you got all bad races yeah. out here. Cause it's some it's some dirty black people out here too. Yes. Boy, them assistant managers will get yeah. you fired real fast, boy. boy. They'll do you bad. <laughs> you got a lot of people out here that suck you dry. They'll use you up. They'll use you up till they don't need you. <coughs> Once they don't need your ass no more, it's like, throw your ass out. Yeah. But knowing that they're going to have to come back across that bridge. And like, y'all y'all so fucking dumb. Yeah, they dumb, man. Yeah. But I want to talk uh, back on the greed, man. Yeah. And, uh... The what's the name of the inventor that invented the uh water Carver. engine? I don't know his name, but I do know the inventor you're talking about though. Yeah, it's see, I think it was two of them. It was the white man first, and then it was a black man in Buffalo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I heard of him. Yeah, yeah man. They, they big did. oil, man. Yeah, they did. You, you know, they did that for you know the, the main reason they did that shit. Like how you said, greed. It's all about the greed. And yeah. This man building these cars out there, water, that mean you put you finna put oil, you finna make our numbers go tremendously low. Like we ain't finna out make, of business. We ain't, yeah, we ain't finna make these trillion, these billion no more. So you know what? We gotta get you out the way. Yeah. Same thing with Dr. C B. That man had care to every motherfucking thing it is. Don't you know if he everything would have went and act how how the medical field would have been so sick? Yeah. That what they call big farm, man. So they love for people to stay ill and stay sick and shit. Cause that calculates to more revenue for them. Revenue. Dr. Siebel would have heard it all of it. So just like how they did that, man, they had to get him on out the way too. It's sad, but it's true. Man, I've been uh, <clears throat> battling a uh, little sickness. Um, I'm gonna just, I ain't arthritis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I might hear that out. Arthur. They call him yeah, Arthur. Arthur yeah. They trip me. I heard that shit the first time. I said, he for hell, hell, man. He say Arthur. You know, <laughs> the doctor that I, you know, that I've been going to, they be like, ain't no cure for arthritis. I know a black woman who had arthritis and lupus. Uh, my, my, one of them, my mom, she got healed uh, through her beliefs. But it's another uh, female that I'm went to school with she healed herself through natural remedies mm -hmm. so she went completely vegan and reversed her lupus you know what i'm saying so arthritis arthritis and lupus they close in hand yeah and so uh but the doctors keep telling me ain't no cure for it ain't no cure for it and i 
you know, like it discouraged me. But I've been looking up. Sometimes you look up at Africans with uh, rheumatoid arthritis, found testimonies. I reversed my arthritis by eating uh, raw vegetables and fruits. Yeah. I exercise. I go out in the sun. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are the things that give me hope because whenever I go to the doctor's office, it's always the same thing. Same shit. And they do that on purpose. They yeah. want to keep you in that same, you know? They want they wants to keep you, keep in your money, all of that. But everything you just said, that's the way. That's the way. It's a cure to everything out here. Hey, yeah. You just got to know how to dive in and go get it. Yeah, Dr. Sidney got on there talking too much. Yeah, and the crazy thing about it, you know, his son, his son has actually, you know, following his footsteps now. I saw a few videos on him a few days What's his ago. Son name? I forgot his name. Mm-hmm. It's it's some owns that want to say the wrong name, but he uh, he following Dr. C footsteps now, which is fantastic. Yeah. That's great, but man, please be careful. Yeah. You know, that the first thing hit my mind when I saw the video. I say, damn. You know, you need to be careful. You think somebody killed uh, Kevin Samuels? Who? Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels. Oh, him? I don't know. That, that, that's, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Okay. Yeah. Because <clears throat> he was getting a lot of women together. And a lot of people were actually working on their relationships. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the back, black communities. He was kind of making people look at themselves. And a lot of black women hated dude. They rejoiced when he died. You know yeah, what I'm saying? was sad. You know, I didn't watch them like that, but you know how you be on social media, you'll come across clips of certain people. Yeah. And I was still doing that over the time. And, you know, from my opinion, you know, he was basically just saying a lot of shit, you know, that a lot of women don't want to hear, but it's true. Yeah. You know, they be so stuck in their way, molded, which I understand, but sometimes, man, it pays to listen to a guy, especially a guy that know what he's talking about, a good guy. Yeah. Like, listen. Y'all don't like to listen. Yeah, like listen sometimes. And it's crazy how they didn't want to hear him so bad that they start making up rumors, calling him a homosexual. And then they be the they'll be the main people that main women that want you support that stuff, mm-hmm. but will use it as a derogatory term for a straight black man or straight yeah. man. Like they'll do anything, spread rumors, all that. Do anything, try to knock you down to break you. Like just you know, just make you crumble. Yeah. That's why you gotta be strong in this shit. Cause you got a lot of people they gonna come for you they gonna come for you like close people friends and all people you used to be cool with you man watch watch them yeah they gonna come man yeah man we've been having a good good conversation man oh hell yeah man uh how you feel about uh your boy t pain is he still hot to you he can he can he cook it up and get him uh, one whenever he want to i like, feel to be honest yup the reason I say that, cause you know, how I feel talent. Once it's there, it's there. It ain't going nowhere. Mm-hmm. It's there, it's stuck. But he, he a smart individual though. Like a lot of people fail to realize, you know, when y'all don't see a lot of these artists on main screen, or it don't seem like they popping right now. But just always keeping your mind that this artist, you know, got royalties and all other type of different things. They ain't gotta put out shit. They yeah. can sit back and still eat off revenue, royalty chicks coming in the mail every month. They ain't got it really, you know. They like when you know they be like, oh, they already fell off. <coughs> nah, they ain't fell off, huh? Them folks sitting back eating. Yeah. To you, they fell off. Yeah. 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 People just gotta learn the game. Yeah. T Pain, he 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 work. He releasing an album right now. Uh, called On Top of the Covers. I follow him because he. Going with the times, you know, like now you gotta be an artist and do something else on the True. side. So he got this uh, podcast called Never Boy Radio. I saw that. He's a dope, dope. And he still independent? Uh, I don't know. I believe so. I believe so. I don't know. I have to yeah. do some research on it. Okay, that. okay. But yeah, man, T Pain to me, like, he one of the ones, he can go get him one. He can resample one of his songs. Oh, yeah. He did that with Kalani. Uh, what song that was? And he did that with Tory Lanez. That's just like you say, he can hop out at any time. That's just like back then how he made the song Buy Her a Drink. Fast forward to now, he made that song recently, like, you know, she don't want no drink. Mm-hmm. Like, that was smart. That's brilliant. Like, 
It's like you biting off your own moves. Yeah. <laughs> it's dope. Yeah, that yeah. That boy uh uh Superstar Pride. Uh Mama, don't worry. You raised the gangster. You have you heard that TikTok? The light skinned dude with the with the shag. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I have. You don't know some suit he from Batesville. He ended up being like number 35 on the billboard. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Super, superstar Pride. I'm finna show you. That what's up, man. Hey, Superstar Prime? Pride. Pride. Okay. Salute. Yeah. Superstar Pride. The Mississippi made. I'm gonna mention him, Superstar. Hell yeah. By the way, I salute everybody in the city too. Y'all keep popping y'all shit. Doing y'all shit, man. You you done seen this. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see here, man. They gonna make sure they get their money. Right. Boy. Shit hell. He he sampled uh Faith Evans. You hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, so, I, ain't, I ain't saying nothing. Boy, they been all over TikTok, all over so it been on he made uh Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I fuck with that. I ain't know who sung it though. Yeah. Okay, I fuck with that. Yeah, he sampled uh, Faith okay. Evans, you know. It took a minute to uh, get clear, but she seen how it, you know, was moving. So yeah. they they cleared it for him. And, you know, like I believe in like when people hear a familiar hit song and you go back and remix it or sample it. Mm -hmm. They'll do something. It'll do something on the charts. It'll actually make some noise, and they were oh, smart. Yeah. Oh yeah! Shout out to uh, Justin Woods, Global Knox, and uh, Wicked Films. Yeah, yeah, they help 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 push that. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, and like he did the important part too. Like got that sample cleared. Mm -hmm. Therefore, down the line, you ain't got to worry about no lawsuit and all yeah. this other shit. Cause most of the time, how they do. They'll let you just ride on out on the wave until that song get to a certain extent, and then they coming for you. I yeah. would not want my piece of pie. See, I, I believe that's how they went. They did the song first, yeah, and then they got it cleared. Cause I seen one of them on social media say it finally got cleared, but the song had been out prior to them saying it. Yeah. So probably did like a DJ Luke Nasty. You remember the dude? Uh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he sampled so much and then got it cleared out. True, he do do a lot of sampling. Yeah. But uh man, it's been a great interview, man. It's been a pleasure talking hey, to you. Hey, likewise, dog. We done, <laughs> hey, most definitely. <laughs> we done went deep tonight. I love it, man. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you wanna tell the people? Uh I'm gonna just say, man, uh, you know, everybody y'all just keep doing y'all shit, man. Anything you doing in life, just keep pushing forward, doing you, don't let nobody stop you, stay focused. So if it makes sense to you, go for it. Like, out of here. And everybody just stay positive. Stay dangerous. Stay safe. Um, just try to make something happen. I ain't for better every day. Uh, anybody talking negative, negative energy, keep them out your way. Keep them out your circle. If that, if you got to be by yourself, fuck it. Be by yourself. Um, just, just go. Like, just go, man. I salute everybody in this city, across the world. <coughs> everybody keep doing their shit. Lil Randy, Smart Money Empire. I salute Tokyo, great guy. You know, y'all give people they flower while they here, man. Appreciate that. Especially man. great people, man. Uh, don't give me my flower when I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Yo. Throw the motherfucker back at you. Hey, man, uh, one thing about the Lab, Lab TV platform is we're going to give everybody who's doing some positive, you know what I'm saying, who been grinding, an opportunity, man. Like, guys, like, Lil Randy, man, dude, come through whenever, man. Ain't he about business, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all ain't about business. Don't ever come over here thinking nothing for free in any, in, in any business, you know what I'm saying? Y'all pay the studios, y'all pay the cameraman, y'all pay, pay the platforms, you know what I'm saying? Y'all pay the artists if they have a fee for a feature and stuff like that. The money got to be circulated. You can't just... Hop out here if you don't get stuff for free. You know what I'm saying? Take money to make money. Facts, facts, facts. It's an investment. 
Yeah. Exactly. But Lil Randy, man, you've been a great guest, man. I can't wait to hear your project, man. Oh, yeah. Been Fendi doing board. it, man. And shit on the world. Yes, man. <laughs> yes, man. But this has been another interview with the Lab TV. And we signing up.